All right, so in our final video of the model problems for the summer assignment, um, we're going to look at the slope of the tangent line at a specific point. So um, on the previous page, you did finding the generic form of the derivative, and you would find like a function, or if it was a line, then your derivative would just be one value. Um, but in this section, we're going to look at finding the slope of the tangent line at one point. So back in our notes from before, these two formulas here are what's going to find us the slope of um, the tangent line at one point. And my personal favorite is this one here. It's a little less messy um, than having the a plus h piece here. Um, so we're going to be using this in the tutorial videos and to practice, but um, for these problems we're going to look at the slope of the tangent line at that specific point. Okay, and um, I'm looking at 4x squared plus 3, and I want to find the slope of the tangent line at 1. And the first thing that I want us to look at is what this graph would look like, right? Because it's a quadratic that opens up, and it's moved up 3, and has a stretch of 4. And so at x equals 1, what I'm trying to find is the slope of the line that touches the graph at x equals 1. Okay, what's the slope of that line when it touches only once? It only touches at x equals 1. And so um, I'm going to use the formula. The limit as x goes to 1 of f of x minus f of 1 all over x minus 1. And essentially what we're doing is we're using the slope formula, which uses two points, right? The slope, you need two points. And I'm taking it and I'm sliding that slope so that I only find the slope at 1. And um, I need to figure out what f of 1 is for this. And so that would be 4 times 1 squared plus 3, which would give me 7, okay? All right, so let's plug in here. Limit as x goes to 1 of f of x, so I'm going to plug in f of x as it is, minus f of 1, right? So f of 1 is 7 minus 7, all over x minus 1. And I'm going to do a little algebra here at the top. This would be 4x squared minus 4 over x minus 1. And if I were to plug in 1, because remember we said that the first thing you should do is plug in, you're going to get 4 minus 4 over 1 minus 1, you're going to get 0 over 0. You're going to get the indeterminate form here. So let's do some factoring. I'm going to factor out a 4, and I'm left with x squared minus 1. And hopefully we see that that's a difference of squares. So limit as x goes to 1 of 4, x minus 1, x plus 1 in the top. I'm factoring that x squared minus 1. I'm factoring that difference of squares all over x minus 1. And I have a factor in the top and the bottom that cancel. They're the same, so that means that there must be a removable discontinuity in this function here, okay, and that we don't need to really worry about that now. But now that that's gone, that's what's causing the 0 over 0, I can now plug in. So 4 times 2, which gives me 8, okay? And so what that tells me is the slope of this line here must be 8, okay? And I know that because I found the derivative of that at that point, and so that tells me the slope of the tangent line at that x value, okay? All right, let's look at problem number two. So here, um, I'm again, I'm looking at the square root function here. Um, now, the plus one on the inside means I'm going to turn this, I'm going to move it to the left one. And so I'm looking at this. What is the slope of the tangent line to this graph at x equals 0? So limit as x goes to 0 this time, okay, of f of x minus f of 0 all over x minus 0. 
And so if I plug in 0, I get the square root of 1, which gives me 1. Okay, so limit as x goes to 0 of f of x minus f of 0, which is 1, all over. And I'm just going to write that as x, because x minus 0 is just x. And because I have this square root piece, I'm going to want to multiply by the conjugate to start trying to algebraically manipulate this um, equation that we have, that we're taking the limit of. And so when I do that, I end up getting x plus 1 left over. Okay, the positive square root, the negative square root, they end up canceling. Minus 1 all over x, and I still have that denominator piece of the conjugate left over. Okay, so my 1's cancel, and I am left with x over x times that piece. I have x over x, which again, if that's what I'm plugging in, that's what's causing my 0 over 0 to happen. And so once I get rid of those, I get 1 over square root of 1 plus 1, which gives me 1 half. Okay, and so that means the slope of this line that touches the graph at 0, that that slope must be 1 half. And I'll go ahead and have my final answer here. Um, for the purposes of summer assignment, I would like your answers to be boxed so that when I grade it, um, it's easy for me to check. Um, but we'll talk about boxing answers on the actual AP test and what that means uh, once we get together in, the, um, in August. Bye, y'all.